We begin with team coverage. Your Kansas City Royals are chasing another championship. I'm Laura Moritz alongside Jackson Kurtz live at Coffin Stadium and sports director Len Jennings who made the trip to Baltimore, Maryland. A hot start, a mid-season stall out and now a chance at another World Series run. That route passes through Camden Yards. Sports director Len Jennings is outside tonight to show us what's at stake. Good evening. We're just outside Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Of course, the best of, best of three series between the Royals and the Orioles begin tomorrow with game one. And we're just outside the stadium here and the activity is picking up out here. Vendors are setting things up. They're practicing the national anthem inside. We also got to see a little bit of a light show in preparation for tomorrow's game, which begins just after three o'clock in the afternoon central time. Now, earlier today, the Kansas City Royals, they were on the field getting some warm ups in. The tarp was on the field, so they couldn't really do much outside at all, but they were inside hidden with the batting cages. Of course, the Royals lost 106 games last year. They're in the playoffs this year, an amazing turnaround, and these guys are not taking it for granted. It's amazing just with the team that we have in that clubhouse, how close we are and just how special it is. And so, yeah, this is something you want to create something new because in the past, everyone in Kansas City has talked about the 2015, 2014 team. And so kind of we want to create our own legacy. And so we've been able to learn from that team, those guys too, and with Salvi being on those teams and everyone, so it's going to be try to create our own little legacy. So the mantra of this team has always been about today. Well, today is tomorrow, game one of the wild card series, and it's Cole Reagans who's going to be on the mound for the Kansas City Royals. Laura? And Len, the Royals didn't have a strong finish to the season. What adjustments do they need to make to be successful in this postseason? Well, pitching actually has been very good for the Kansas City Royals, especially with the starting rotation recently. It's hitting that is the concern. In the last 11 games, the Royals have scored four or more runs only twice during that span. So the bats need to come alive during this wild card series. Reporting from Baltimore, I'm Len Jennings for KNBC 9 News. All right, we continue our team coverage this time at Coffin Stadium for folks who aren't able to make the trip. KNBC 9's Jackson Kurtz is live there tonight, and can you feel that anticipation growing, Jackson? You go to a rally house, you go to places like that, you can absolutely feel it, especially if they win tomorrow's game. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but a lot of people we spoke with today at the tailgating event are feeling the energy with this team building. Well, Again, finally, ready for it. The nine-year hiatus is over. I think the chances are great, and I kind of like going to Baltimore. Royals fans bring out the blue at a tailgating event in Lee's Summit. I've always loved the Royals ever since I was a kid. Channel all the good vibes I can to them. Fans remember the Royals' postseason magic in 2014 and 15. It was so exciting. I was at a playoff game. Oh my gosh, it was just like, whew, we got this, and we did. And some believe that same magic could be said for this year's squad. I believed that they were going to make it. And when they started out so well in April, woo, and I have not missed any games. Win or lose, many see the success of this year's team as another win for our city. Oh, it just brings us all together, just like it did back in 14 and 15. It's amazing. It's so good for us. I think it's nice the community's coming together to you know support our team, support the city. So it's an exciting time to be a Royals fan in Kansas City right now. Now, all the people that we spoke with today are not going to the games in Baltimore this week. And we wanted to look up what prices were like. A flight to Baltimore, if you just left tomorrow morning to get there for the game, $481. Hotel, but $100 or less. And then just tickets to the game are $34. That's the cheapest we could find, Laura. Okay, that's not bad at all, Jackson. But not you bad. still have to show up here to work tomorrow. So I know. I, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't make it. <laughs> okay. We'll <laughs> see it. Thank you. If you need to add more blue to your wardrobe, the Royals team store has plenty of options. The wild card shirts say October ready. They're running extended hours too. You can shop from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. during the postseason. And if the team keeps winning, they'll stay open late to sell the next round of gear.